the same thing for Quidos. Basically, what's the problem it solves? It's uh, a platform that connects uh, contractors and consumers where um, it's actually pretty close to, to eBay, uh, except for a couple of things. It actually requires a subscription, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, um, but kind of the same thing. So uh, it's actually all those test cases, which uh, 10 of them I already put together uh, for your convenience. Um, and we're gonna start kind of tackling it. So I help you a little bit. So the first uh, page usually is our homepage. Why? Because it gets the most of traffic. So most of the people are usually, uh, they usually land on the homepage first. So how would we test the homepage? Um, I would say it's just very general look and feel nothing special. Again, it's smoke, right? It's, it's very brief. It's like very high level. So this is home page. How would we test it? We just make sure that all the elements are on the page and basically nothing else. Uh, it's very kind of passive test case. So with this being said, let's actually write it. So the first test case, um, I would just give it a name, like what we're checking, homepage. So homepage layout, right? By layout, I mean like whatever needs to be on that page. So let's see. Yeah, so let's, let's see what we actually can see when we uh, navigate to to the home page. What's important here? First of all, that comes to my mind banners, right? Because that's how we monetize the, the site. It's kind of important, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna say like every single banner should navigate to somewhere, la la la, I don't know, but at least banners should be displayed on the page, right? Somewhat important. Uh, the next thing is the sidebar on the left. Again, I'm not gonna go one by one, but at least this panel should be displayed on the left, right? In the main menu, the navigation uh, bar. Uh, then uh, this block uh, that asks us for to register because this is very unique. You will never find this this block anywhere else when when you see like two buttons like this and register as provider or register as a service consumer, right? And the actual block below where the, uh, with the like um, actual jobs, right? So to kind of sum up, banners, left panel, this block, uh, regist registering block and um, the jobs, list of projects. That I would say a very high level. We, we're not going like too deep. We're not validating like this, this exact the same text and so on, right? Just very, very briefly. So that's, that's not smoke, that's basically regression. But right now we focused on the smoke, which is very high level, and the most important pieces over there. Okay, so let's do that. So homepage, um, okay, I already put preconditions. So it's like a little cheat here. So an authenticated user navigates to homepage, all right? So basically that's what, uh, who we are right here. So otherwise, because if we log in, we will actually see the different homepage, right? Probably this will go away. Um, the, um, the left panel, panel will be different and so on. Again, this is very first step. So it's like the whole entire workflow of, of the using this application, very, very like high level. So, and usually when you first land or new user lands to the page, that user is logged out, right? 
So that's kind of important here. So we're what, what we're saying uh, is um, uh, not a user is not logged in, navigates to home page. That's um, it could be a precondition. It can be a step. I'm gonna do like a precondition for now. And steps, <clears throat> there is not much. So test data here. Uh, we can um, just provide a link over there, just for convenience, right? Because um, if it's not the home page, but let's say some profile page or whatever, um, sometimes it's easier just to click on the link instead of like looking for that, uh, reading like where to go and then trying to find that element on the page. Uh, if it's not that important for testing, at least that's a precondition, right? If it's precondition, you go there the quickest way possible. Okay, um, this is test data and for expected result, we will basically say like, okay, banners are displayed on top of the screen. Um, what else? Sidebar with main menu is displayed on the left. Um, register accounts buttons are displayed in a central panel or something like that and a list of projects um, is displayed below the registration block, something like that, right? So right now we're only writing, we're not executing, so nothing else really is needed for now. Does it guys make sense? Sometimes um, it's like is displays. Well, for steps here, it's very passive test case. So I'm gonna show you the, the so it's more like UI test case, right? So you, you just navigate to the page and observe like what's on the page, nothing else really. It's not even like functional when you actually click something in, when you perform some action and you expect some reaction, it's very passive, right? Well, you can say, you can turn it um, upside down and say like my steps, like I navigate to homepage, right? Or user navigates to homepage, that's the step. Preconditions, nothing. Step user navigates to homepage and expected results, this, 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 and that. Yeah, you can do it that way and there is nothing wrong with that. It's, it's okay to do so, uh, as long as it, again, clear, then you're good. So what's the second one? Create a consumer account. Anonymous user is on a homepage, like I am right now, right? Uh, steps, click on register as a server consumer button, exactly, uh, which is this, right? Uh, expected result, you can say like that for the um, register form should be displayed, something like that, but it's not, not necessarily. Okay, fill out the form, exactly. Again, you see here, it's actually a few steps. Uh, what you can do here, um, you can kind of cheat a little bit because again, it's smoke. We are not testing everything. Um, all, all of the fields like all together, no. Um, it's very, very high level. So what you can do here, you can say like, yes, fill out a form, but I would maybe add something like with valid information, right? Like, what does it mean? <laughs> you don't care, right? <laughs> like you will need to figure out what does it mean? Uh, okay, so let's fill out the form with valid information. I, I definitely know that my na uh, last name and first name uh, are are valid, right? And my phone number, I mean, I can provide some, some weird phone number, but again, as long as it's 10 digits long, it should be fine, right? 
I'm not like trying to uh, to trick the system and like type like special characters or like some letters in there, right? Like regular information, like I'm a regular customer. Email address, I'm gonna even do my email address here, right? Um, what I can, sh I don't know if, I don't remember if I show that to you, but you can use Elias. Uh, so if, for example, if you use a Gmail, instead of creating uh, those um, emails every time, because you will have to have a, a lot of them, you can do like plus, and then you can put some number, right? And uh, yeah, it's mylgmail.com, which is, which is, uh, I will receive that email. And password, I can do whatever, test one, two, three. I mean, hopefully it's okay. I'm not sure. But um, again, for the smoke kind of, it doesn't, we will see if something is wrong, I will fix it, right? Uh, okay, uh, what else? Mm, I believe I only need to click the last one. Again, for smoke, uh, it's the, it should be the shortest way. It actually, phone is not necessary. So we can probably, you see there is no asterisk over there, the red thingy. So it seems like it's not mandatory. So I can actually drop for smoke, it should be fine. Uh, and uh, basically I'm filling out the form to create an account, right? Clicking this. And then what happens, you see what happened? Not just I'm on different page now, but there was a um, confirmation, uh, like this um, information message in the green displayed, right? It's something unique, I think. You will never see it, not on every, on every website actually, it's very rare. But here, um, first of all, we got landed to different page, right? It's no longer the same page. It's actually login page now, right? It actually asks for me to log in now. Uh, the second one is that uh, green success message is displayed. Again, I'm not even telling like what's on that message, like exact wording, like congratulations, you created your account, blah, 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 whatever. No, just for smoke, it doesn't matter. So there should be success, some success message displayed, right? And um, well, you cannot see that, but you probably went through the same thing. So I already received an email uh, asking me to confirm, right? Or like welcome email, whatever you name it. Okay, let's write it down. So number two, create a consumer account. That's gonna be my test case, oops. That will be summary, right? So precondition, anonymous user, um, I can say navigates to login page, or I can say like from home page, click like create button, something like that. I believe I still misspell that. Uh, I'm just uh, not login, but create a consumer account page, something like this. Um, again, I can cheat a little bit here. Um, what can I do? I can really just supply this, provide this uh, URL here, right? In a test data. So you don't have to like search for that. You could just click on that and that's it. Uh, here uh, in the steps, fill out the form uh, and well, you can say fill out the form, click create, uh, create an account button. I can just save some time again for smoke. It's not that important to get too many details. I can just say, create an account with correct information. Again, um, you, can, you can say 
with correct information, you can just drop it. I'm going to leave it as it is. There is many ways, right? Uh, and once you do that, your expected result is, um, first of all, um, user should be redirected to uh, uh, to login page, first of all, then congratulations message should pop up and um, user should receive um, a welcome email. Okay, so let's create the, the, the last one together. So I created them here, which is the test plan. We have this test plan where we have them, right? So we did this, we now doing this, and this, the third one will be create a main method, a main record, sorry place an offer basically that's what we're looking for now so what we need to do is click place an offer create a new offer just basically fill out the form right the same thing so like build um, a house something right doesn't have to be like um, it doesn't actually have to match really. So you basically just select whatever as long as it's good then it's okay, right? And uh, that's it. Click create offer. Yeah, just go to offers, click um, create an offer, a new offer. And then you um, fill out the form with the minimum uh, minimal required fields and submit it and your expected result. Again, you are now on my offers page, right? So basically the, um, the offer was created and it's displayed whatever you entered, it's now displayed on the page, right? So this on this page. That's it. 